Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, I will be showing you how you can add an external user to a distribution list. Uh, I will also be showing you how to create a distribution list and adding an internal member on Microsoft 365. So let's get started. Uh, I'm already logged into my tenant here uh, with my global admin account. So I'm just gonna go to home here and uh, yeah this is the the microsoft 365 admin portal to create a group we will go under teams and groups active teams and groups uh, switch over to distribution list add a distribution list and we can call it test dl2 since i already have a test dl uh, let's hit next here assign an owner so we will assign our global admin account the owner you can add anyone as an owner it doesn't matter uh, let's add a member here so whoever is going to populate first so these all all these users are internal members in my microsoft 365 tenant so that is why they are showing up in here in the list so i'm just gonna pick a like, top two and just add them here hit next uh give username to the email so we can call it test dl2 and we will allow communication from outside of the organization uh, just gonna do a quick overview everything looks good let's hit create now after the group is created you will see it under the distribution list and you can expand it open check the members add more members internally However, what happens if you want to add an external member to it? Uh, let's assume my external email is aj at gmail.com. Now, this is not an email I own. I'm just assuming. So, yeah, this, yeah, this is not an actual email I own. Uh, so, you can see if I type that in here, it says no members were found, which is true because it's only going to look for the members who are internally in the organization so what i mean by that is if you go to users and active users they should they, they should be in here so uh what what do you do in that case is you go back uh or you actually create a contact so you just have to add them as a contact uh so i'm just gonna make that here aj war uh doesn't matter if the last name is oh, let's just correct it why not all right, so the email for the external per person was gmail.com and you can hide it from the address book. It doesn't matter to me, but it depends on you. Uh, but that these two are the only uh, necessary uh, field that you need to populate in order to add a contact. And that is added now so you can see this is now added as a contact it doesn't have a mailbox it doesn't have anything it's not a guest user it is just a contact and that should be enough for us to use or add that person in our distribution list as a member so we'll go to the members click on view all members click on add members and if i type in aj there it is there is the contact we just created and this is an external email we'll click on add and it's saving but basically that's it now if anyone sends an email to this email which is the email of the distribution list uh, internally or externally uh, all three members will receive it adele alex and aj will receive it um, yeah, and that's how you add an external member to a distribution list. Thank you.